Hey guys, Titan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the bow nice and easily uh, in Barazino. Well, you can do it wherever you want, but I'm just going to do it in Barazino over here. And it's a really simple uh, guide to get the bow and some arrows, so I'm going to show you guys how. So first of all, you're just going to need to find a, a stone in the uh, beach. <coughs> this sometimes does take a while, I don't know why. And then we're just gonna wait to get a stone. And then as soon as we do, we're just gonna turn it into a stone knife. <coughs> and then we will. Uh, I'll show you the rest after that. So here we go. We've got the stone. Drag that into your hands. Craft the stone knife. And by the way, you don't really need this chem light unless you're on a nighttime server. So I'm just gonna drop that right over there. And you should uh, craft the stone knife, and it should be in your hands. Here you go. If you uh, there you go got the stone knife. So next what you want to do is you want to find uh, a, like not a really big tree like one of these but like a uh, like a uh, smaller tree than the big ones. One which was has a few branches coming off of it and you want to cut a oh, you want to cut a branch off of it and then that will give you an ashwood stick. Boom, there you go. You should get one probably I get every time. Pretty sure you get one every time. Here you go. Nice ashwood stick. So I'm gonna replace that, put that on the hot bar. Press number one, you get it out. Uh, so this is basically just gonna be a little survival guide if you can't find any guns or weapons, but this is the perfect spawn for me. I love spawning over over here. Uh, Berezin has actually got a very long uh, amount of loot at the moment, so I recommend heading over here. Shoes, not damaged though, we don't need those. Uh, and also, uh, uh, you can go up to apple trees and shoot your apples to get some food. If you just hold W into the tree and spam F, it should uh, just find your few like this. It's a little bug. There you go. And it should. Now I've got a apple in my hand, two apples in my inventory, and one on my stick. So you can uh, don't need to worry about food. You can just keep doing that. But it's a lot easier when you find a backpack to do it. Just gonna loot the rest of this house. By the way, we are on a full pop, so here we go, look, full pop, 40, 45 people are, I bet, probably on this server, we'll get full now, oh, a boony hat, but yeah, uh, if there is no loot, I will actually uh, go ahead and stop recording and uh, find a new server to do this on. Yeah, Boom's grey sweater. And uh, yeah, if you find any piece of clothing, it doesn't matter if it's damaged or anything like that, just grab it and tear it into rags because we're going to need the, uh, 12 rope to. I mean, 12, uh, 12 rags to make a rope. Oh, oh. And uh, then we can uh, craft the bow. And then I'll show you from there. So just gonna look around the few houses, just keep looking for rags. And uh yeah. And then we can uh start making the bow and hopefully try and kill some people with the bow. But a lot of people in Berezino do serve a hop a lot. And they will serve a hop at the porches at the porches and uh, just keep doing that for the uh, AKs and stuff like that so a really good idea to uh, stop these people is just to wait there go on a low pop like a two pop server and at the Berezino porches just wait and just wait for someone to server hop up there and then you can just get a nice easy kill because they'll be looting up and they won't even know you're there so that's a really easy uh, easy way of getting a load of gear oh bless me 
go check. Uh, most of this is looted up, obviously, because it's Browsino, and Browsino is uh, quite a common spawn. So a lot of people will be looting up at this, but not everyone will take the rags or the jumpers after them because they don't really know. Not a lot of people know about this, uh, how easy the bow is to get. But if this is really a uh, bad loot in here, normally there's a load of stuff in here, so if there's nothing, we're just gonna quickly change over. And, uh, eh, hardly anything. Did find a knife though. Which is okay, I guess, but we don't really need it. And we're not gonna let anyone else have it, so we're just gonna chuck it over there. Whoa. Ha! <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna save a hop, guys. Because uh, I really want to show you guys the uh, a nice easy way of uh, getting the bow. So I'll see you now. Alright, guys, we're back. And uh, we may have a visitor. And, uh, oh. Oh, Internet Explorer. Close it. If you find an M4A1 with a silencer, mm. right. So no, he's not going to join. But he, if he does find, a, if we do find an M4, he's going to swap us for an SVD, which I will definitely swap for. See, this is what the loot should be like. But obviously, if you're going to join like a 50 man server, there's obviously going to be loot missing. So boom, there's an axe right by there, but we ain't gonna take that because we're gonna have this boat. Boom, peaches and spaghetti. What's that? Sardines as well. Yeah. So you guys, this is a uh, definitely a much uh, better idea rather than to stay in the high pop with no loot. Now I can definitely uh, show you guys a lot quicker as well. So we're gonna check this apple away because now we've got a lot better food and we're hydrated. We're gonna definitely fill up on this uh, food. I'm gonna save the peaches for later though. Unless we do get uh, too much loot, then I will drop the spaghetti. I mean the peaches. Well, I'll eat them, I won't drop them. And there is a well right there, I know. I'll just drink only a little bit. There you go. Alright, so now we're gonna go up the and re -loot this little area, I'll be as quick as I can, hopefully find a few more rags and then that will mean I can craft a rope and then I will have the bow and I'll show you the arrows and then we'll get into some action. Vitamins, don't need those. Oh, glasses, I'll take the glasses. I think we may go be good, see look, I uh, always trust my character with black t-shirt or uh, green, green uh, trousers. So if we find a green top, we go uh, all green. And then if we find a black jeans, we go all black, and a black t-shirt, we go all green. So you know, you know how it goes. Because normally, uh, whenever I go all green or all black, I normally, if I go all black, I normally, uh, I normally find like a green top or something. So. I, I don't really do it much because uh, then it ruins the camo. So I just uh, just gonna stay half and half. Finding a few drinks for there. What's that? I can see something on that. No, I can't. There was a uh, there was a uh, uh, a knife over there, but we've got the stone knife. Which uh, oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Okay, now we have a backpack. Oh, and a cowboy hat. Definitely take that. Yeah, yeah I'm, we're gonna swap it. We're gonna swap it. Cowboy. We're gonna be a cowboy with a bow. Well, for this, uh, well, it's red, but on my back it's blue. I don't know why that is. That's probably a bug. No, we're not gonna take that. And we're not gonna take the hockey stick either because uh, <coughs> we've got the Ashwood stick. So we can tear this, tear this into rags. Uh, we need 12 rags to make a rope, so we're three more away. And the, see, boom, black ring, uh, black ring coat. I'll probably take this. 
And then, so now that we can turn this into rags. And... Wait, what's that? Can you tear... No, you can't tear those up. What? Oh. Motorcycle helmet, damage, not gonna take it. Tactical bacon, snafty, tack back. I'm a subscriber of uh, Snafty's, uh, Snafty's Twitch channel. Really good streamer. And uh, yeah, they've just uh, made uh, Tactical Bacon a lot better than it was. So Tactical Bacon is really good. So if you get it now, make sure. If you see any tack back, make sure to pick it up. Because it's really useful. Oh, here we go. This is what we're looking for. A nice big backpack. Another hockey stick, but that was well worth the super hop. Now that we've we can collect a lot more stuff. We'll uh, probably find some food in here. Always our shoes. Here yeah, we don't need shoes. By the way guys, I found out that uh, if you wear worn shoes, oh my god. If you wear uh, worn shoes, they after a while of running, they will uh, uh, actually become damaged. So if you if you keep uh, pristine boots, they'll stay pristine. But if you wear worn boots, they will uh, eventually go damaged and then they won't look very good. But if you do f have a sewing kit on you, which I haven't found one in ages in 0.57. I haven't found one sewing kit yet. And, uh, yeah, you can fix those up, but I just really haven't seen one in ages, a sewing kit. So we're just gonna keep looting up, just gonna keep finding more rags. And on the way, if we see any, uh, kindling, it's gonna come. We can, uh, cut bark, by the way, I'll show you. Uh, a cool little trick in a second. You probably already know, but it's well worth it if you don't know. You can't tear a path, unfortunately, so I guess you couldn't in real life either. It's too hard. Because the material. But we quickly, we got to find some more rags and then we can make the bow. And then I'll show you all the rest of the steps. Here we go. If you see any bushes just like that, just the small little bushes, you get you some sticks. All you need to do is chop it with a, a knife or an axe. The stone knife what I got, you can carry with that too. Oh, pristine, pristine beans. So yeah, keep chopping those sticks, and I will show you a little trick right now. So if what you want to do is cut bark off this time, and uh, it will give you obviously uh, some bark. And then uh, what you want to do is, so you got your knife, your five sticks, well your six sticks, but you got a five in a stack and one there, and then your bark. What you want to do is get the five stack and then sharpen all of those, and then you will have sharpened sticks, and then you can have wooden sticks, and you make a hand drill and then a hand drill kit you can start a fire with so that's very useful trick what I learned and we found a boonie hat can't tear that into rags and we found this which I can't tear into rags I'd rather keep the uh, cowboy hat though way cooler pristine this one's a nicer colour too actually I'm gonna go with the light colour actually. Oh, repeat the ammo. Nice, nice. What's that right by there? Just a bin. Okay. So yeah, now that we we now have five sharpened sticks, repeat the ammo, we got a uh we got sorry about him. He's uh, spamming me at the uh spam me with messages. Sorry guys about him. Won't happen again. But yeah, now we have the uh, five sharpened sticks. We have the hand uh, hand drill kit and uh, oh crossbow. Wait, does this work? 
Wow. Alright, it doesn't work. I don't think it doesn't work. Alright, can you load arrows? No, no, no. Right, so now we have a crossbow, which is pretty good. Uh, crossbow's actually uh, fixed. As you can see, crossbow's fixed. It used to be bugged, but now they fixed it. It's really good now. I haven't, found, I haven't seen one of these yet. Well, I haven't seen any arrows for it. So, but if we do find arrows, that's uh, basically a bow and arrow. But we'll uh, swap it for a bow when we get the rags. So we're just going to head over to the more popular part of Berezino right now. And we're going to search for some more rags. And we can make a rope. And then you connect the rope to the wooden stick. And that will make a bow. And then with the bow you get the sharpened sticks and you load you load the uh, sharpened sticks with them. With the you load the sharpened sticks into the bow. So as you can see there are a load of bushes where you can chop down over here. I'm gonna go and chop these these ones over here with my knife. <coughs> gonna open the tuna. Uh open these. We've got a lot of food, so we're, we don't need any more food. This will last us a long time. There we go. And we have two bags of rice. Tuna, beans, two cans of beans, spaghetti, two tack bags, and just peaches. Alright, we're actually, should we check up here? I don't think so. Alright, there we go. Right, he's gonna stop spamming now, otherwise I will delete him. Because he's interrupting the video. I'm so sorry guys if you uh, got annoyed by that. FPS drop right over there. Not, we're just gonna skip over there. Not very much houses. We're gonna go over to the popular part. We did go on like a medium pub. If you go, you can count how many people there. If uh, oh, apparently we can't take that into our hands. And I've just realised. Oh, there we go. So you've gone down? No. What the heck? There we go. No, no, no! Don't take a boom, thank you. Just gonna chop all these sticks down for a lot loads of arrows. I'm gonna get some action with the bow. Whoa! So we're actually gonna combine all these, group them. I mean, sharpen all them. <coughs> oh, bless me! Get some more, get some more sticks. You can never have enough ammo, ever. Right, got a lot, a lot a, of sticks now. Just gonna keep grouping these. Boom, that's enough, that's enough. Sharpen all these. There we go. Put all these down there. Sort our inventory a little bit, because I know a lot of people get annoyed when uh, their inventory is not in place. So one rag away. It's so all we need is one rag. But it's cool. It's cool. We can uh, find a nicer rag. Whoopsies. Find a rag. Well, in Berezino, which we're heading that way anyway, even if we didn't want a rag, because that's where all the people are. Right, so we're just gonna head over to these, uh, head over to these buildings, and it's, as you can see, making the bow is very easy. With all it takes is a knife, which you can get by getting a rock, sharpening it like we did. And then we cut the bushes, sharpened them, we got the arrows for 
like we've got a load of arrows for the bow all you need then is a stick which you can get with the rock knife simply just by chopping a branch off a tree C uh, combine 12 rags together you like drag 6 rags together and then you can make a a rope and then you join the ra rope and the stick together and you've got a bow and then that will be the video of how to make a bow it's very useful if you're getting shot at you don't know where you're getting shot from oh holy moly <laughs> wow okay we're actually gonna take this as well so let me uh, chop this away wait where's my stick right. so then whoopsies combine this together make sure you don't click on the fishing rod click on the bow and then drop this away and then you get the arrows drag it load arrows and there you go guys we have got the improvised ashwood short bro can I shoot it? I'm pretty sure the range on it is 80 meters. See, there we go. Shot that straight then. As you can see, the arrow is right by here. If it does land on the floor, you can simply put it back in your inventory. Oh, apparently it doesn't want to though. But if you eject these, there we go. There. and then load them into your bow and then eject them back out we've got the arrows back there you go that was just a little bug it was glitching out well let me pick it back up but i got it and um, there we go guys we have got the bow so yeah i hope you uh, really really enjoyed this episode of how to make a bow and uh... Yeah, make sure to use it. It's an excellent weapon. It's very underestimated. You can actually get... Say if a, if a guy rushes you and you don't have a, a axe or anything like me, look. No axe. It's actually... If you shoot them, they're right in the doorway right behind here. It's two shots with a bow. And then they will be unconscious. And the basically they're dead oh my goodness basically they would be dead because uh, they'd uh, lose so much blood out of it so they'd probably die so you don't need to worry about them not dying because they will be bleeding a lot as well as we say that we just found the magnum we've got the magnum ammo as you can see so yeah that's going to be the end of this uh video guys i hope you enjoyed and i hope you tell your friends about this and uh... if you do make a video using the bow or if you know anybody who uses the bow make sure to uh... tell me about them uh... i'll definitely uh... watch their videos and uh, check them out so see you guys later